Yo, what's poppin' guys, Sizzle here, and welcome to the Sizzlers for 2000 to 2009. We'll be taking a look at a variety of categories to figure out what the best things I experienced in this decade were. Unlike most of the other Sizzlers, this one will probably be a bit inaccurate, as my memory isn't the best, and this is me trying to remember things that are well over a decade old. Without further ado, the first award is for the best show. This award covers the best TV shows, TV series, YouTube series, anime, and the like. While I definitely enjoyed a lot of shows during this time period, I was very addicted to watching Spongebob and Danny Phantom. Since this time period, I've definitely come to love Spongebob a lot more, but during the time period from 2000 to 2009, I remember being thoroughly entertained with the simplicity and kind of cool premise of Danny Phantom with his powers. For that reason and that reason alone, Danny Phantom wins the best show Sizzler for 2000 to 2009, as it was definitely the show I was a lot more excited to watch for the time period that I did. In a similar light, there's also the Best Film Award. This award covers the best singular film or movie. When I think of movies I watched in this era, the only ones that really stand out a lot in my memory are Toy Story, Shrek, and Cars, even though I definitely watched a lot more movies. Yet again, there's one specific movie that kinda dominates here, which is definitely Cars. I really loved the Cars movie during this time, and it's like the only show that I rewatched a ton in that time period. It's just a pretty rewatchable show, not really sure how to explain why, and the first car movie therefore easily wins the best film sizzler for 2000 to 2009. For the best video game award, for the first and probably only time in this award show regarding this category, there's only a few options. I only had a Game Boy for most of this time period with a handful of games which included, but were not limited to, Pokemon Emerald, Sapphire, and Leaf Green, but also specific titles like Advance Wars 1 and 2 and the Nickelodeon video cartridges. However, right at the end of this decade, I received both a Nintendo Wii and the second model of the Nintendo DS, alongside some cult classics like Mario Kart Wii, Mario Galaxy, Wii Sports, and Smash Bros. Brawl, and the DS games of Mario Kart DS and Pokemon Diamond, which was later on Platinum. If I had to get my most played game during this era though, it would hands down have to be either Pokemon Leaf Green or Emerald, but the game that I enjoyed the most was most definitely Pokemon. Pokemon Emerald. I remember exploring the region for hours as a kid, not making secret bases like everyone else, but just viewing all those random hidden caves and whatnot all around the region, being flabbergasted at just about every little thing while listening to one of my favorite video game OSTs of all time. Therefore, Pokemon Emerald pretty easily wins the best video game sizzler for 2000 to 2009. For the music award, there's only a few contenders I can guarantee that I listened to during this time period. First off, we have a lot of video game OSTs for the games listed in the video game section, plus a ton of titles that weren't listed there, which I only listened to while I repeatedly played through these games. Then we have California Dreamin' by the Mamas and Papas. This song has been ingrained in my memory for as long as I can remember. Finally, we have Pokemon Emerald, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and Mario Galaxy's OSTs, which I also listened to a lot more than the other video game OSTs, as these specific games were hands down my most played games during this era. That being said, California Dreamin' by the Mamas and Papas easily wins the best music sizzler for 2000 to 2009 because it's tied very heavily to a lot of my favorite memories during this time period. Especially since I only really started playing video games a lot during the latter half of 2009. For the best food award, there's also not a lot of contenders. I had some very clear favorites during this time, being watermelon and pizza. Watermelon wins, I don't know if it's the specific watermelon I had or what, but I absolutely love watermelon during this time frame. Watermelon is easily the winner for the best food sizzler for 2000 to 2009, no questions asked. Then we have the Hardware Award, an award given out to the hardware I liked the most at the time. This one's pretty simple, I only really had a Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS and later DSi, and a Nintendo Wii in the early 2000s. I played on a lot of other consoles, but since I owned these, these three were definitely the most dominant ones. While I might have used my Game Boy a bit more than my Wii and DS, since I only had my Wii, DS, and DSi for the latter half of 2009, I definitely need to pick the Nintendo Wii here. It was love at first sight. 
With great games that I started playing right away, like Super Mario Galaxy, Mario Kart Wii, Wii Sports, and most importantly, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and the controllers having a lot of fun gimmicks on the many different Wii games was definitely super entertaining to mess around with at the time. The Game Boy definitely had some pretty solid games too, like Advance Wars 1 and 2, and the many Pokemon games it offered, alongside those little Nickelodeon video cartridges I had a few of, and the DS and DSi had Pokemon Platinum, which I played a lot with my friends at the time, but it's really hard to compete with that insane lineup of Wii games, which are still some of my favorite games today. In other words, the winner of the best hardware sizzler for 2000 to 2009 is the Nintendo Wii. We also have the Best Thing Award. This award is given out to the things that I really like that either are the only things in their category or just don't fit in the categories for that era. In this case, the Best Thing Award is kind of split between basketball and these dope-ass golden medal Pokemon cards that I got which apparently only came from Burger King or something after doing some research. This is kind of weird because I know I never really went to Burger King, even as a kid, so I must have been gifted them by someone or something, but all I know is that I love them a lot. In the case of basketball, I just had a really fun time both playing and watching basketball and thought it deserved to be mentioned as it's a very great sport. Either way, I specifically remember loving those golden Pokemon cards to death, so I think they take the cake here even though I also thoroughly enjoyed basketball. Therefore, the winner of the best thing Sizzler for 2000 to 2009 is those random Burger King golden Pokemon cards, which I think I still have sitting somewhere to this day in 2022. There is also the Best Content Creator Award, the award given out to my favorite content creator to watch, whether it be a specific actor, YouTuber, Twitch streamer, or whatnot. There's not a lot of contenders here as I only really started watching YouTube toward the latter end of 2009 and only remember a handful of videos from the time, and I don't really remember any other influential figures like actors or whatnot. Some of the YouTube videos I do remember seeing have now become cult classics, like Charlie Bit My Finger, which is unfortunately deleted, a ton of different YouTube poops, and the many This Is Sparta Remix videos. However, hands down, the most memorable and influential YouTube video I watched was most definitely Sugar Conroy's Super Mario Sunshine Episode 9, for whatever reason, alongside a few of his Pokemon Fire Red videos. These videos were extremely high quality at the time and very enjoyable to watch, which probably means that they were the specific videos that led me to wanting to eventually make my own YouTube videos. Clearly, Sugar Conroy is pretty much the uncontested winner for the best content creator sizzler for 2000 to 2009. And finally, we have the Best Meme Award. This award is given out to my favorite meme of an era. I'm not exactly sure if this was in this era or not, as all the memes I came to learn about this time were either just the This Is Sparta remixes, or YouTube Poops on YouTube, or just things off Flipnote once I got my DSi pretty close to its launch. But my favorite meme of this era is definitely the head bopping in a car one, based around that one scene from the movie skit where Jim Carrey's bopping his head around a car with two other guys. This scene was edited a ton with Flipnote, with many different characters, songs, and whatnot playing with many different animations. I remember loving looking at them on my DSi, so even if they technically might originate in the early 2010s, I'm still giving them credit for existing here since I can't seem to find the true original head bopping videos. If they don't exist in this time frame, mark the winner as the This Is Sparta remixes as those definitely existed in this time frame, even on Flipnote, and are in a very solid second place. Either way, the winner of the best meme sizzler for 2000 to 2009 is the head bopping meme. And that's it for the Sizzler Awards for 2000 to 2009. I hope you enjoyed watching and maybe reliving some really old memories with me. I plan on making these yearly, so I hope you'll enjoy them going forward as well. That being said, I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you in the next one.